if you're ever doing something uh, CPU extensive in your computer, uh, you know that your computer becomes really slow. And uh, let's say like if you're rendering uh, 3D graphics, that uses a lot of your CPU power. And uh, you might not, while you're doing that, you might not be able to do anything else on your computer. Or if you are able to, everything will be uh, really slow. Now there's a way you can lower the usage of the CPU by by the 3D graphic rendering or whatever else it might be. Uh, lower that so you can have uh, some uh, CPU processing power for your other tasks. And uh, to do that you just go to your system administration and go to system monitor. Now in your system monitor go to the processes tab and uh, you notice here you have a list of all the uh, running processes and uh, if you look at these columns here there's one called uh, nice and um, what the nice value is is it's basically the priority uh, given to this uh, to whatever process uh, you have running and uh, so let's say uh, Zorg is uh, using a lot uh, of the CPU, it's not really, but if it was using a lot of the CPU, uh, uh, what I will do is right click it and go to change priority. Now here's the tricky part. The nice value, like I said, is you know the priority level, but when you raise it up, that actually lowers the priority. So it's kind of backwards. And if you lower it, it raises the priority. So you can change the priority from here and uh, you can still do other things while um, you have uh, processor intensive um, tasks going on. Another thing, if, uh, if your computer is booting up uh, really slow uh, for some reason and uh, you don't know what's taking it so long, uh, there is a way you can find out. I have all the details on uh, on the website ubuntu.com so if you go to ubuntu.com and go to the blog and go to what's slowing down your boot time and uh, I have all the details there so just check it out alright thanks for watching yeah. Yeah.